Hello, Brian Hogg here, and this is a quick video to show you how to make a pop-up with a MailChimp form within it when you click either on a button like this to sign up or in, say, a link in a paragraph, whatever the case may be. And not only have just a regular MailChimp form, but one that if someone's already on your list or uh, you want to add them to another group in your list, uh, you can do that. So to do this, we're gonna be using the free version of Boxilla and also the free version of MailChimp for WordPress. And you're gonna to have to download them or install them using plugins add new. And for MailChimp for WordPress, you're going to need to, in the settings, add your API key. And it gives you a link that you can click on that'll get you that API key in your MailChimp account. And of course, if you don't have MailChimp, you can go to MailChimp.com and sign up for a free account, which is good for up to 2,000 subscribers. So the first thing I wanna do is build the subscribe form. So if I go to MailChimp for WordPress and then forms, I get this nice form editor. In the free version, you can only have one form. In the pro, you could make more than one. So this is for a new course uh, making pro plugins that I'm creating and want to have a sign-up form for. So all I need to do is, at minimum, I need to add the email address, which is required. So if I click that, I'll uncheck that, add to form. I don't really want the label. I'll just have the email form there and maybe a placeholder. And you can edit the form after you add a field. You can also add the first name in there. I don't need last name, but just the first name. And same thing, I can remove that, add a placeholder. And I want it so that when they sign up, the, they get added to a certain group in the list. Otherwise, I'd be creating a separate list for every single landing page, uh, which would be a nightmare to maintain. Having them in a group in a list then lets you, you know, when you send a mailing, you can pick which group or groups you want to send a broadcast to or uh, set automation up if you have a paid account, all that good stuff. So if I then click on the sign up location, which is the group I created in MailChimp, which you can see by going into a list and then going manage subscribers, pick groups, and then I've created this group sign up location and I've got this new one making pro plugins. And then if I need to, I could add another group and have that show up. So now if I click sign up location here, I'll see the initial value has all the groups. So then, if they sign up for the list via this form, they'd get added to all the groups, which is not what I want. So I would just then erase and just leave the group that I want to use. So then if I add that to the form, that's it. So I've got the first name, email address, that group, and I've also got the sign up button, which I already added. So if I save this, and if I come down here, we've got the short code that I'll be adding into the box using Boxilla. So the next step is to now create the pop-up box that we want to show when a button or link or whatever on that page is clicked. So I'm gonna copy this just so I have it kind of in memory for later. And now if I go to Boxilla and add a new one, I'll call this Making Pro Plugins that doesn't show up in the box, but at least it's there. And I will paste in that short code. I could add some text before and after, whatever marketing copy I need, doesn't matter. But for now, I'll just add the form in there so the box will show the signup form. So you get a bunch of options as to how you want the box to show. Uh, for example, I can add the border color, say black, with the width of two, you can use solid or dash line. I'll pick solid. And you also get the options to load the box if a certain condition is met. And also what position you want it in. So for this one, I want it to just appear on that one page. So I'll say if page is, and then pick that landing page that I already created. And I want this one to appear in the center. Uh, I'll just leave it as fade in. 
And then you can also, if you're not using this technique where you're clicking on a button and having it pop up, you could have it appear when they scroll a certain amount down the page or after a certain amount of seconds when they get to a certain element. But for now, I'm going to pick never so that I can have it triggered by the button click instead of auto showing this box. So now if I publish that, it's now saved, which is great. So if I go into all boxes, we can see the form that we just added and we can also see this box ID, which I'll need to be able to show it using a little bit of JavaScript on that form. So I'm actually using uh, Beaver Builder to create this page, which is a great page builder. So all I need to do is click Page Builder. And I can go into this button here. And right now I just have the link set to my home page. But what I'm going to want to do is replace this with JavaScript. You can see I already added uh, one previously, but basically JavaScript, boxzilla.show and then the ID of the box that I created. So you can see it's 1329. And that's it. So if I save that, and then hit done and publish, and you can add that same JavaScript colon code into a link in say just your regular uh, page editor in WordPress and have it do the same thing. So now if I test, sure enough, I get the box appearing. I've got the first name, email address, sign up. And from here, I could just put in my first name and a test email, brain. A lot of people misspell my name. And then sign up. There you go. So now in this case, the which is great, normally on the default MailChimp form, it would show an error. You're already on the list. Uh, even if you want them to stay on the list but update that group that we added, it wouldn't work. It would just throw an error. But thanks to using MailChimp for WordPress, it'll update the record if they're already in that group and already on your list. Uh, otherwise, it'll show a, a message saying that you could you should go into your email and confirm your subscription. And if you go in and view that email address on the list, sure enough, you can see the sign application is set to the group that we specified in that MailChimp for WordPress group. So that's it. That's how you set up a MailChimp uh, link pop-up and allow someone to even subscribe to the same list uh, multiple times, but for different groups or offerings that you have.